All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trips. Eat. Close next go. On one. On one. Ready? Three. What's going on, everyone? Ancap24 here from Huddle.gg. Today's video, we're going to talk about a bomb play that I absolutely like that uh, basically goes ahead and bombs cover four quarters when it's on default. It bombs Tampa two, Tampa three. You can bomb any of your cover threes, cover four drop. It's just a really nice situation to where you can have a really nice play that goes over the top when you're able to um, set up the play in order to go and uh, basically set up the bomb, right? And let's jump into it so you can see some of the examples and we'll kind of show you exactly what we need to do, right? So let's go to red zone scissors out of the gun doubles. And what you're gonna see is that all we're gonna do is make sure we're on the left hash mark, move over the Y receiver and put him on a streak. And what you're gonna see is that you got a four by one, which basically means it turns off any type of match coverage. You're gonna have that as a nice bonus. And you've got some really nice routes that if you don't go for the bomb, that you're gonna be able to basically throw um, and have a lot of success with, right? So what we're going to do here is show you this is against cover four quarters right and what you can see here is that you're going to be able to wait on this and you can have the b that goes over the top we're just going to kind of wait 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 throw this ball here and you got yourself an easy one place score now if you watch this before the play even starts you've got a lot of options besides besides the ball right the first option is always going to be the tight end and he's going to be able to get a quick hitter to the flat and you're going to see how, you know, this is going to be very similar to like a bunch type of setup to where you really have to worry about that flat route because that route is going to be something that you can hit a lot of times really, really quickly um, because of the way that it gets underneath those, um, that Y and the B and there's just a lot of um, traffic that people have to go through. And if they go ahead and try to play a little bit lower, then you're going to see here that you've got that ability to hit this RB in this spot as well. And you can have a lot of success with those routes, right? It's one of those deals to where it's not just a bomb play. Now let's go over to like a cover two, right? Now with a Tampa two, um, you're gonna see here, we'll just do it without the guy in the middle, then we'll do it with the guy in the middle, move this guy over, and you're gonna see that you're gonna have that same success going over the top to the B receiver. So if you go ahead and you look at this right here, here's your Tampa two, right? We didn't put the mid read, um, we're just gonna leave him there, and then we'll go ahead and do it with the deep blue here. You see the same exact thing's gonna happen. This guy's gonna be over the top, and you get yourself an easy one play score. If you do Tampa 2 where they put the guy in the middle, you just have to wait a little bit longer. It's not that big of a deal, right? So all you got to do here is do the Tampa 2, right? Put this X on a um, a play, right? You know, that the deep play like that. Go ahead and pass the commit so you can see it here. Put this guy over. And then we'll go ahead and run this exactly the same way, right? So here we go. See that these guys are going to come through. All we got to do again is we got to wait for this guy to come across the middle like this. Now you throw this in that little hole and you got yourself an easy one place score against Tampa two. So let's look at Tampa three, where basically they put their outside players here on outside thirds. You see here that I got those guys like that, and then they drop a guy in the middle of the field, right? It's gonna look like this to where they're gonna go and do this. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing here, move this guy over, and you're gonna see how we're gonna be able to go and get that same exact bomb, right? Let's make sure that we do this here, and we'll see how we got this. All you gotta do is basically step up in the pocket, wait for this guy to come across the field, throw this ball in that same spot, and you got yourself a Tampa three bomb. Now, I do have a very good O-line. I have them basically all with secure protectors and whatnot. I do like that for my own um, you know, sake. So you definitely wanna make sure that you have the best O-line possible if you're going for the bombs. But remember, this isn't always about the bombs because if you don't wanna bomb, you have a very good opportunity of hitting the A in the flat, the RB as that player over there. And then if you see that you got enough time, then you can be able to throw that, right? Let's go to the next uh, setup we can just do here. And we'll go to cover four drop, right? We're gonna have to get out of this all together. But let's go ahead and check that out. So now that I got uh, cover uh, four out here, you can see that I got cover four. And we're gonna do the same thing. Now I want you to go through your progressions and look at it and say, is the A open? Is the RB open? And then lastly, we'll go for the bomb over the top, right? So we look at the A, then I basically throw it to him. He got caught there. Not a big deal, we throw it to the RB, he'd be open. And then we're gonna throw this ball over the top. You can see how we're just getting an uh, easy lob. And we got ourselves a one place score against cover four drop. Now when you go against cover three, we're gonna make one simple adjustment, guys. And this is something that you guys wanna make sure that you understand when it comes to this game. When it comes to route running thresholds, people run their routes differently. So with cover three, and you're facing someone who has a lot, I'm gonna sub in a player like Slater, it has less than 90 deep route running because that's gonna make his route a little bit shorter uh, as far as how tall it is when it moves. You see that B is a little bit of a, um, a lesser tall route. 
And that's gonna give us the opportunity to make this go quicker for us. We can still do it, but if we have a better route, that's gonna help us out, right? So over here, see this is a cover three, right? And we're gonna do here again, A is open. We're gonna go to the RB, RB is open. Now we're gonna wait for the B, and you can see here that we got an easy catch and easy ability to get in the end zone because of this, right? So if you guys like this play, go over to our website. I just dropped our Arizona Cardinals three uh, game plan, which goes over gun doubles and gun doubles week. And this play is one of the ones that are featured and we've got a ton of plays in there that's going to help you beat every coverage in the game and really take your game to the next level. Now, the reason why I wanted, it's called Arizona Cardinals three is because we did a whole empty game plan at the beginning of the year. Then we did a spread game plan on Arizona um, not too long ago. And now this is the doubles and we're gonna come back with more um, types of, you know, sets where it's gonna be, you know, the, the, the tight formations and uh, basically really get you to where one playbook give you all the things that you want um, to be able to be successful at Madden. So check that out. Appreciate you guys. Everything on our website's $9.95 to unlock all those game plans I just talked about. It basically gives you access for a full month and gives you the ability to learn offense right away. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Appreciate all your support and have a great day.